Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a gradient requested by Gina Rose. I'll also be swatching the Beauty Big Bang XL 063. I've started off with IMK Peel Ease and here is Dewy by Kiss Gel Strong. And I'm going to go in with my first coat. It's a little blurry. I'm sorry for that. Uh, it will get better, I promise. This is a beautiful orange jelly. I'm really in love with these Kiss Gel Strong polishes and uh, I like that you get gorgeous creams and jellies and glitters and everything from them. They're just rocking it out. So here we go. We're going to have a visit from Woody. Hi Woody. How you doing? And here we go for the second coat. Look how luscious that is. It is just, it's so juicy. <laughs> it's juicy and squishy. And I love it. It's very, very nice formula, smooth application. Get that second coat on there. So there we go. I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Seal this beautiful polish in so that we can do some gradient today. And I will be doing, this is a long video because there's so many steps to it. And I do apologize. I normally try to keep my videos a little shorter than this. But, you know, sometimes i got a little more to share. Hi, Woody. You're back again. He is. Look at that. He's a pro. <laughs> All right. So, I've got my IMK Peel Ease, I mean, Peel Protect on. And I'll be using Cool U and Dewey, both by Kiss Gel Strong for my gradient today. I have a dampened makeup sponge that's been cut in half. Fits my nails perfectly when I cut them in half. So we're going to go in and start this gradient. I was a little concerned about using a jelly, so that's why I put the jelly down as my base color, because um, they're not as opaque. But we're going we're gonna to just rock on with it and see how this works. Gina Rose has given me many um, suggestion requests in the past that have worked out beautifully, so I was really excited to do this one for her. So I loaded up the sponge and I went through all of the nails, starting with the thumb for round one. And now I'm reloading that sponge. And I'm going to start with my pointer finger nail and then roll all the way back around to the thumb. That way each nail's getting, you know, the right amount of coverage. I'm gonna reload that sponge again. And then I'm gonna start with that middle nail. Start with the middle so it gets most of the polish from the first round. I had a battery issue, so we kind of got a little blip in that, but we're going back to the thumb. We go through all of them. And then we're gonna do this some more. But that's how I do my gradients. I just kind of do a round and round. Just keep doing my rounds until I get them the way I want them to look. Seems to work out pretty good. Looks like a mess, doesn't it? So thankful for some liquid latex, some Peel Protect. It's going to be a saving grace here in just a little bit. <laughs> Here we go with our last round. And I do really like how these colors gradient. Um, I like the look of it. Ta-da! All right, we're going to pull off this latex here from around my nails. Here we are having the tweezer issues again. If you've watched long enough to my videos, you know I always have trouble with tweezers. And then I've got just some flakes and little bitty bits of latex I need to get up off of here. Just a tiny bit more. But look how much, I mean, that's, that's pretty clean right there. So we won't have to do very much cleanup with the brush. And I am using another one of those new brushes from Etsy. I don't know what this one was called, the rainbow brush or something. If you're interested in this cleanup brush, you'll need it. If you want to find a link to it, you can go back to my other video where I tested out some cleanup, cleanup brushes. But this one works pretty good. I like it. 
So now we're going to top everything off with some Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. And I always love this. It's magic. You put that top coat on and it smooths that gradient out and just makes it look so good. Love it, love it, love, love when you do the top coat over a gradient. It's one of my favorites. I'm going to be sure to cap my free edge there. Ta-da! Alrighty. So today I'm going to be using this Beauty Big Bang XL063 stamping plate. This was sent to me for review, so I'll be using it in my manicure and the images I don't use today. I will definitely be swatching them at the end of the video so that you can see all of them. I'm going to run across that plate with some acetone real quick, just in case it needs it. I'll be using my Beauty Scraper and my AliExpress Stamper and Brave Steva on the black. So we're just going to hop on in here. I'm going to use five different images for my manicure. And then we'll move on to some more fun stuff. I'll swatch them, the rest of them out. I love these images. Kind of water marble looking. Just mm, right up my alley. So here we go with another one. And some of these images are similar to other images on some other plates, but there were several of them that were very unique to my collection. So I was really excited to get them and try them. And it is covering that gradient up quite a bit, but you know, you can still see the colors peeking out. So I'm good with it. Not really looking as summery anymore. It was kind of looking summer, but now it's looking a little more fall. Adding that dark stamping polish on it just darkens the whole manicure up to me. So there we go. I'm going to flip that plate around so I can go after some different images. This plate did really good. Um, I didn't have any issues with any of these images picking up or transferring to the nail. And remember, if you go to Beauty Big Bang, I do have a discount code in the description box if you'd like to get 10% off your order. I think it's PAC285. That's the code you would use. Here we go. Ta-da! Alrighty, I'm going to go in with a piece of tape. I did use the Burt's Bees Cuticle Cream so that the cleanup is much easier. And I will be using my cleanup brush and some acetone real quick. Not much to clean up though. Very, very minimal. Love this manicure though. I was digging it. Got that funky thing going on. I am going to go over it with the IMK Peel Ease. Um, it definitely works as a top coat that is smudge free and once it is completely dry I'll be using my regular top coat. Hi Woody, how you doing? So there we go. I'm gonna let that totally dry and now I'm gonna go in with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls, seal this one all in and then we're gonna head on into some swatching. I do love this top coat. I still love my posh, don't get me wrong, I still love it, but this one, this one's really nice. Whoo, we Woody working hard today. So there's that manicure. I do have a swatch photo coming up very soon, like right now. And that is it. So I would love to hear what you think about my manicure. Leave me a comment down below on that. So now I'll swatch the other Alrighty, so I did, I'm using the same stamping polish, the Brave Steva on the black, and I've just got some um, swatches out, some swatch polish tips out here to bump on over. These are picking up wonderfully, and they're transferring beautiful. I'm always pleased with these Beauty Big Bang stamping plates. Awesome. So here we go. Gorgeous. Love, love these. Here we go. With oh, some bling tastic on that. Yes. Love it. 
having a love affair with these images. Pretty, pretty. So like I said, I will um, leave a link for this plate down below in the description box. And my discount code for 10% off is also going to be down there if you would like to go check these out. So here we go real quick, a real quick run through of these extra images. So as always, I would love for you to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this plate and these beautiful images. And that is it for today. So I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.